Music Box by Darina Cookie. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make a beautiful Music Box by Darina Cookie. So let's get started. This is what you're going to need for this beautiful project. You are going to need white, princess pink and flesh tone color gel, chocolate brown gel, edible markers, a ballerina cookie cutter, a wooden stick, and pink and gold sprinkles. For the box, you are going to need any kind of paper that you like, and you will need to cut a 4 inch circle and a rectangle of 12 inches long by 4 inches tall. Please click the link above to see the best cutout cookie recipe so you can make a delicious cookie. Please click the link above to see the recipe for the royal icing and the different consistencies that you're going to need to prepare. First, you're going to need to prepare a medium consistency icing so you can outline the silhouette of the dress of the ballerina. Then, using the same icing, you are going to use a decorating tip number 101 and you're going to make a little ruffle on the bottom of the tutu and then you're going to sprinkle pink and gold sprinkles. For this project, you're going to need to prepare floating consistency icing in two different shades of pink and a flesh tone color. In this case, we're going to start as a base from white icing and then we're going to add a little bit of flesh tone and we're going to put it on the face and in the arms of the ballerina. You have to remember that every time that you color the icing in the different shades that you're going to need, you are going to save a little bit of icing to do the back part of the ballerina. So put them in a sealed tight container. You can add a little bit of sprinkles on the tutu and you're going to let dry completely the cookie before making the other side. 
like this is going to be a cookie that is going to be a centerpiece you need to decorate both sides of the cookie so that people can enjoy the back and the front of the ballerina so you're going to do the same thing that you did for the front part of the ballerina just remember that this is going to be the back side so it's going to be a little bit different At the end, you're going to add a little bit of chocolate brown to your pink icing so you can tint the icing for the hair. And you're going to put it in the front and in the back of the ballerina. When your cookie is completely dry, then using edible markers, you're going to make the little face of the ballerina. I love to use the Chef Masters edible markers because they have the double point. They have the fine tip and the bold tip, so this is super, super nice. The box is super simple. You just need to cut your circle and your rectangle and then you're going to glue the two extremes of the rectangle and then you're going to put a little bit of glue on the top of the circle and then you're going to put it together and let it dry. When it's completely dry, you just need to put a little hole in the center so you can insert the wooden stick of the ballerina. Please give it a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.